Good morning. Guys, I'm going to need you to keep me awake today. I'm so sleepy. Um, all going well. Stream will be the same length as it always is, unless I collapse and need, and need to pass out. Badass ladies are winning. Yay. Well, guys, I'm going to open Carol the Barrel's uh, Discord account, because that's the one I always take screenshots on. I don't think it really matters, but if I voted, I don't like to show my vote, so that's mainly the reason. But this time I haven't voted, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll do it last minute. I believe in you, yay! Lurking at work, I hope work's going well. I hope those of you who are at work get your, your holes, your, whole, your Christmas holes soon. Because you deserve it, guys. Don't worry if you collapse, Elite will take over the stream. <laughs> he will. We've got, we got an interesting stream today. I'm going to be brave and do skills. And I haven't had time to even have a practice. Because I have had... Haven't been at my computer all morning and I had an earlier night last night. Well, I tried to have an earlier night, but it failed. Okay, folks, so I will be taking a screenshot in the next few seconds. So whatever is the winner on my screenshot is what it is. Even if we get votes in at this point, it's too late. We have a winner. So, we'll talk about the winner in a sec, but I want 100% wait until I've got my screenshot first. Okay, so I'm gonna save my screenshot. I've got quite a few screenshots of polls. Um, there's one, two, three, four, there might be five or six. Or maybe, I don't know if there's that many, but there's definitely a few to post. We'll get those up over the weekend. Hi Juice, how are you doing today? Please hand the poll now so the ladies win. Neffle's desperate. The ladies have won, guys. They got eight votes. Runners up were pretty close though, with seven votes. Um, but it's been, I promised that it would end today and at 3 pm, which is basically the time now. So we've got our winner. Um, how, are you, how do you guys feel about our winner? I, th I, I like them. I think they fill up the canvas quite nicely, they look cool. Um, some people probably thought they're too cool and could have been used as other enemies but we don't necessarily have to rule that out they can totally um, come alive but at some point the whole plot could work that way but we don't know yet all depends how how the story goes and where it leads us but we're going to delete this poll now because we're done goodbye poll that was a fun poll it was a very close one, that one. So there we are. Wow, on time today. Hi, Ali. Did I say hello hi already? I can't remember if I did or not. Just looking at all of this new cool boss. This, our boss is amazing, isn't it, guys? We got some skills done yesterday. We did a really good job. We basically planned out the entire first phase. Of, of how it's going to work, what their individual skills are going to be. Phase two, we still got that one to flesh out, but we're gonna we're gonna wait for that one for a bit, and we'll get we'll make sure phase one is is doing well. I think that it was suggested that we get phase one working, potentially test how that works, and then think about phase two after that. And we'll see because. Uh, I generally don't like doing too much skilled stuff in one go because it's too much. I like to move on to some fun stuff like writing or story stuff. And we still got to do Carol the Barrel and her companion assets. And um, we, we definitely still have other things to do. 
Um, but I generally try to to uh, put a bit of variety in the stream. Some days we do skills, some days we do other stuff. We'll say it's 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 the best way to stop me getting uh, burnt out in a particular area. I'd say hopping in shower. Don't have an emergency right now. Enjoy the shower, elite. Goodbye, Pearl. <laughs> We were just talking about you being out. Yeah, we said that if I pass out from tiredness, then Elite can take over. It's a big honour that is Elite. You should be very, very proud. But yeah, it's because I'm a tired rouse today, everyone. I actually had some coffee. It was in here. This mug. Um, I usually only have one cup of coffee a day. Like I limit myself to one a day and that's always when I first get up. But I've had two cups of coffee today. Two hot cups of coffee. Okay, I'm gonna open RPG Maker. And uh we're gonna we're gonna do some we'll try and get some skill stuff in today, maybe. I was tempted to do some Carol the Barrel stuff today. I thought, oh it'll be a nice break, something different, but I'm a tired one and I don't think I'm I'm probably going to be a lazy one today, lazy chill stream. So we'll see how it goes. And maybe next week, we've still got one more week of streams left before the Christmas holidays. And um, we'll, um, I haven't 100% decided what we're going to do. We, we could always continue with this boss stuff. Or if we want to just switch things up, we can move back on to Carol the Barrel's assets. Um, flesh out Carol's son, because there's still a lot to sort out with that we can even consider the flashback and dialogue and story stuff as well but uh we'll say we'll see how it goes um that's your problem you should be having two cups of coffee an hour i get i get um is it coffee come down is it so I, I think that's the the right word um phrase should I say <laughs> um when you like if you have too much coffee you just end up getting even more tired that's what happens to me it backfires right so uh what is we what have we got first let's have a look so we have an overall skill, which is when a t character attacks one of the fruits, they get marked by its colour. They get decreased attack against that colour, encouraging the player to attack different fruits and not just pound down one at a time. Okay. And then we've got their individual um, skills. And I'm looking here to see if there's any like really tricky ones. But there's quite a few that are straightforward and probably won't be too hard to do actually. So I'm glad about that. We don't we don't have impossible skills. Some of the skills that our other enemies had have been like really, really creative. Um actually. But I guess because this was a battle with so many enemies, it would it, it makes sense to make it a little bit more simple. I like that. Um okay. Um, there's other things to consider as well like what is the attack going to be but we do actually have animations that we were given with these assets and the, the standard one is them literally moving the paintbrush and that that's that's their standard attack and um them actually just painting which makes sense i guess the paintbrush is our weapon so when when we imagine apple uh, lemon and tomato attacking we probably do it with a paintbrush yeah I swear that we there was like there was a there was a discussion of that in skill discussion. I'm gonna just have a peep. Let's have a have a scroll back. Oh, it was that one. Deals elemental damage based on fruits colour. Yeah, we'll say that they're kind of the last minute things, like thinking of the 
how it can all visually look. The attacks is something I usually do after once I've implemented the skills already. Coffee is good, yeah. It's good. I like having one. I'm just a silly that I can't have too much. I, I would love to have more if I could because I love the taste. Can you control what direction the paintbrush wishes? Uh, no, I don't think we can, unfortunately. It's quite... Dragon, but the Dragon Bones animations are really cool, but we only were given certain animations. Um, but... I mean, I'm sure there's ways to make it flexible. Um, if you've got a bit of know-how, maybe. But I don't know if my knowledge would would allow me to do that but we'll see we'll see how it goes um i'm going to open photoshop and get the get the animation sheet up as well Let's get that up. It's raining. It's heavy rain here in England today. Okay, so where am I hiding these guys? Okay, here they are. Right, so it's pretty wild. It's a pretty wacky concept because we were given a big giant axe and sword and they're, they're literally just part of the asset that this that this fruit originally was, which was the, the slime, the painter pink slime. Um, but we don't have to use that, but if we want to be a bit bonkers and literally make the tomato have a hammer, then we could, um, uh, you know, but really other than that, other than the hammer and the sword, it's just a standard painting animation and, uh, Let's have a, let's just go back to our sheet and remind ourselves of the type of skills we got. So we got buffs, attacks, buff, attack, 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 heal, uh, ranged attacks. So I'm sure like th the things like the ranged attacks we can, there's, there'll be a way around doing some of them. And some of them, the animations don't have to be fancy or anything. They could just perhaps stand still and um, maybe li lift the paintbrush, but we'll see how it works. I'm one of these people that have to test it out to so, say, which I, I've said a few times, I believe. Um, hi guys, see you know, how's it going? It's so good to see you. Hope you're having a wonderful day. When doesn't it rain in England? Yeah, it's been horribly raining lately. Um, but yeah, it usually does. It usually does rain in England. Especially this time of year. I want it to snow though, to be honest. But it, it mainly snows in February. If it ever does. Heads up today, I might be asking more questions than giving suggestions to show my logic knowledge of RPG Maker. Sure, Zexy. And obviously, I will answer if I know the answer. <laughs> we'll say. In what part of England? North, south? In the middle. I'm neither the north or south. I'm I'm in the in the centre, squished, squished by all the the north and south. <laughs> I'm the sandwich filling, the belly, the belly button ring, and that's that's perfect. I'm the belly button. <laughs> I'll do what I can to answer. Yeah, Elite might know. Elite's actually really experienced 
you know, RPG Maker. Elite helped a bunch with um, some of the skills that we was working on a few weeks ago. Okay, so we've got our RPG Maker up now. I'm going to give hide this and we're going to get it back up. Um, so this little guy here, we're going to use him as our slime encounter. He will take us straight to the the battle where we test it. I think it'll be just easy to do it like that. Um, of course, we'll have to make sure Rose and Jesus are well equipped, but I'm not going to fuss over balancing actually for now. Um, I'm, I care more about actually making the skills work, making sure they do their job. Um, and balancing is the last job, really. So let's have a look at things. Okay, so ev all of this is a bit. We got a few testing things going on here. Um, right now, I've got to think how I'm going to do this. I might copy and paste these and just put them down here for now because it's. Uh, and get them out of the way so I don't want to delete them because I, I want to refer to the what's in here but they're in the way there uh, enemies have we got them apple blueberry uh, yeah let's get them in so um, Should we do them in a certain order? I don't know, did we get them? Did we put them in an order? Let's just put them in the order we've got the skills, maybe. Actually, I know, I feel that Blueberry should, as he's the healer. Right, lemon, tomato, apple, blueberry, plum. We'll keep tomato and plum together because they're both the, the ones that do the damage. So yeah, we'll just I'll just move blueberry to the last one. So apple, lemon, tomato, plum, blueberry. We'll do that order. Um. Oh no, was it? I forgot the order now. Was it apple, lemon? Tomato, plum and blueberry. Okay, so we've only got apple and blueberry in at the moment because I was putting them in. Oh, actually, we do have them, but these are only these are only the static assets. Actually, it dragon bones is very confusing. I'm going to say that now. There's a there's a huge setup with Dragon Bones animations, and for those of you that don't know what Dragon Bones animations are, it's basically just an advanced version of Battlers in RPG Maker. They they're ones that are actually a bit animated, and um, they just are a lot better uh, visually because of that compared to normal static ones. But they can be a bit confusing to set up, but it's totally worth it. And I'm going to just use them for bosses only in Raindrop Chronicles. Um, I think because they look so cool, it'll make the bosses look more epic than the usual standard uh, enemies. Which is a cool idea. Because these guys here, Fire the Maple, Stumpy, and all these enemies we've got here that we were working on before, the gen general enemies that are around the forest, they're, they literally just are still. They have like a, a slight breathing animation because I added a, a plugin that like makes them move to make them look like they're breathing. But other than that, they don't, they don't do anything fancy. They look cool though, whereas these guys, the fruits, are literally going to have facial expressions, they're going to move their paintbrush, and they're just a lot more, a lot more fluid and interesting to look at. Getting ready for day still muted, yay! 
getting you're getting ready for the day and I'm ready to go to sleep for the day. Choosing the Hungarian part of England. <laughs> That joke's gonna stick forever now. You know, if anybody ever comes in stream and starts being like really stalkerish, like to the extreme, because I have had a couple like that lately, like really wanting to know the exact location of where I live. We can just say I'm from Hungary. <laughs> we can just say I'm from Hungary. It's perfect. Rose Ra Naval. Dragon bones is what they're used in Skyrim, right? Yeah, it is. When when I first heard the term dragon bones in RPG Minecraft, I was like, what's that? Because it just it's just so such an unusual name to give animations, but it's cool. Hi Van, how are you doing? Ghosty! How's it going, Ghosty? Thank you for the host. Me and Mog appreciate you. Hope you're having a wonderful day, Ghosty. I know I know where you live in the belly button. You'll never find me. You know, you'll never find out where the belly button of England is. <laughs> Those ears are super cute. Thank you, Ghosty. I'm Rose Reindeer today. I just felt like being a deer. Sometimes I'm in the mood to be an animal. I've also got cat ears. <laughs> All bat. It was, some people think it's a bat. Some people thought it was a bunny because they're quite, quite long ears. Ghosty, hi! Yay! I'm a snoozy one, guys. What? Give me some tips for how you stay awake, other than drink coffee. Because I can't have any more coffee. I'll, I'll sleep if I have any more coffee. Okay, so... Right, so we've we've got them in. Um, I'm going to get rid of these skills, because... We don't want to add any for now. I've got something below called painting and painting change and that was like literally me just experimenting for when the painting comes onto the screen in the second phase I wanted to like have a little have a, have a little see of how that works so just ignore that bit for now I don't want to delete them because uh, it's important for the second phase but we'll keep them there we'll keep them there so we've got those guys in um, but we might need to do some weird setup with the dragon bands to get them all in battle. I'm definitely going to do a test play today because um, I want you guys to see how cute they look in battle and stuff. Ars arson, arson, what's that? To my noob for not knowing what that is. Usually what I do is I try to work from time to time to stay awake. At least to walk to the bathroom helps a little. I ain't getting up. I'm staying stuck on this chair. I'm screaming. <laughs> arson? Oh right. The only arson I know is when people commit a crime that decide to set fire to something. <laughs> right, okay. So let's, let, what should we do next? Gotta refresh myself how this works. Okay. So we'll I'll just what I'll do, I'll move that one there and we'll start a fresh one. So they're called the let's see if I can spell this word without referring to the the notes. I've failed. Right, I'm going to have to look. Oh my god. Zexion probably thinks I am the most uncultured person in the world. For not being able to spell this. There we go. I'm ashamed of myself. But we've done it. I copied and pasted. <laughs> Tan come off and do jumping jacks. Never. I will never ask. Can you believe that, guys? I've never exercised in my entire life. It's so bad. So bad. I'm a rebel. True, you're a streamer. You have no legs by now. Yeah, that's exactly why I don't exercise, Jews, because I'm just a floating torso. It's impossible for me to do any exercising. It's been a bit. Oops, I missed a name. <laughs> See, Glacian can't spell it either. At least I'm not the only one. Rose, you are ready for this plot test. I can't spell it either and I've never even tried to say it out loud. Oh my goodness, no way. 
That is not true. I bet you can say it perfectly. Because I was hoping you could teach me how to say the word. Because when I do YouTube videos, like the story so far, because I'm planning on starting that series at some point. Um, they're literally going to be very short, one, two minute videos. Once every several weeks, sort of timeline that updates people in the community on what the story so far is because especially as we get further through it'll probably be the easiest way to let people know what's happened in the game um and i'm gonna have to know how to pronounce that word for when uh, when uh, i start talking about the boss encounter oh no oh dearie me okay so I've, I've put it there anyway, and I'm going to just, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to call that. I'll leave that blank for now, it don't matter. I don't want to put fruits there, because it will confuse me, and I, I might actually think that's the real one. Okay, so. I'm so immature, like, literally just doing that. Who does that? Right, so. Let's get them all added and we'll get them all put on there just in the exact same way that we have them on our um, on our Draw IO document. Let's see if I can remember. I believe that this was it, right? Apple in the middle, tomato and lemon at the front, but tomato was at the bottom, plum was at the bottom. And blueberry was at the bottom. It was something like that. We'll, we'll have it like that for now. Yeah, I've got a good memory. I'm proud of me. Just smash my head against the keyboard. Well, I'll tell you now. My my head would break before my keyboard. I'm not very strong. The keyboard's much stronger than me. I knew you could do it, yeah. You know, I'm not I'm not kidding. That coffee's made me tipsy. Like I feel drunk right now. The coffee. Too strong for me. Keyboard too strong. Okay, so uh now what's I've gotta think here because the Dragon Man thing is not an easy setup. It's a right pain in the butt, but it's totally worth it because you end up with badass monsters in battle. Um, so um, that's not going to be enough because if we do a test play now it'll literally just be the static ones we have to it's, yeah we got this this is actually the setup but it's wrong it's not I think it's correct for the blueberry and the apple actually but we got to edit it for these ones um, right I'm going to have to open a folder a sec, in a sec one minute I'm excited because once I've sorted this out, um, we'll get to see what they look like in battle. We'll be all moving and stuff and animated. So, as you can see, we, their name is Dream Slime. The reason it's called Dream Slime is because that was the name of the original asset. And for um, for the others, I'm just going to add two, three, four, five after it. Um, I could rename it and call it Fruit or whatever, but the reason I'm not going to do that because it's actually very confusing. Because you have to go into a no the JSON notepad file and manually change the name of, of a few different things. So it is a bit of a confusing setup, but we're all good. So I figured it's easy, an easier job for me just to keep it as the default name and literally just add a number at the end. Um, okay, so we gotta get all these saved. So get rid of the background. So tomato. So really, these little face, these are di the different facial expressions that they're gonna have in battle. 
Um, whether we're going to use those, I don't know. I guess it all depends if we think it's too crazy. Because it is a bit crazy, but you never know. Otherwise, we'll just stick to paintbrush animations. Um, but yeah, huge axe and huge sword. I imagine that Lemon would have the axe. It's not an axe, it's a bloody hammer. What's wrong with me? How is that an axe? <laughs> I've lost the plot. But Apple would have the sword, right? Or no, Tomato would have the sword. And uh, Lemon would have the hammer. Oh my goodness. What, what, <laughs> what did you mix? The Kai did not mix it with anything. I swear I'm not drink drunk. The coffee's made me drunk. Promise. <laughs> It's not very short. <laughs> Axe, hammer, sound different. Yeah, that's true. Axes and hammers are the exact same, aren't they? They're literally the same. The butterfly weapons that are melee. So there you go. The warriors use them. Okay, so. Uh, okay, so let me think here. I've got to do this in the right order. Who who did we say was the first one? Apple, lemon, tomato, plum, blueberry. Okay, so let's do it in order. We'll keep it all in order so everything isn't tidy. And my, de my RPG Maker database is a right mess at the moment. I do have to redo things. Um... And it's probably a good idea to do that as soon as possible before I start getting a lot of, um, the more of the game gets developed. But no, I won't be doing it yet. I'll probably do it after the Christmas holiday, actually. So lemon, tomato, Plum and blueberry. Oh, I also had a question. I don't know what you guys think, but I saw the palette and I wondered whether they should only have their, like, different, sh like, shades of their own colour on that palette rather than every colour. Like, tomato would have, like, the reds and the pinks. Um, plum would have purples and stuffs. So blues yellows greens just like just for detail reasons basically i did wonder that rather than keep them with their with the exact same palette it adds a bit more maybe it'll add a bit more individual like individuality to them because i could imagine they'd only paint with their own color anyway personally i think that was discussed so i have considered doing that and it wouldn't be hard to just edit the colors of the palette if we decided that would be a nice little touch she's so drunk right now what's the old saying never bring an axe to a hammer fight something like that. i've never heard of that saying what are your plans for the holidays um rex is coming over to see me so it's gonna be cool because he's never been to england before and um yeah it'd be fun like your reindeer is, by the way. Thank you. Where's reindeer? That's who I am. I don't know why I'm doing apple again because we we need to do plum now. So yeah, I mean, at the moment they all look the same. They, they're only a different colour. But if we do want to add a bit of individuality to them, like change the palette colour to what their colours are, um, even like do the tip of their brush, like make plums purple, um, blueberries blue, make the tomato be an emo, make, make uh, him have a permanent angry face maybe and lemon 
we could always those sort of things won't be too hard to do i guess just like extra detail on the asset and then we can just save them again um So obviously if you guys have any cool ideas if you think ah um apple would be really cool if it did this or so and so feel free to say same with these weapons i mean i know we haven't really talked about these before i'm pretty sure this is the first time you actually seen that they have the option to use these weapons but whether we we just ignore them and just stick to the paintbrushes only as their weapons or whether we decide to use them for certain characters is totally up to us. Whatever we think could be the coolest, really. Where's Reindeer? Perfect. Yeah, it's perfect because I've got rain in my name. It's such a cool pun. Where's Reindeer? You thought there were elves? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's so funny. I can be an elf if you want me to be juice. When I was dressed up as a... um a cat everybody thought i was a bat and a bunny some people even thought i was a fish i'll be whatever you want maybe give tomato black blush what's black blush as in like his cheeks make them black is that what you mean like the the little 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 red cheeks um i second the black blush <laughs> and the hair flop thing so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, maybe we should think about that then. What about the others? Can you see the others having certain colour cheeks? If we just want to add a bit more uniqueness to them. What about the grass thing on the others? Would it just be tomato that had it floppy? It would make him stand out more for sure if he's the only one with a floppy one. And I definitely imagine Tomato permanently having that, this face here. Like, that is Tomato. Like, Tomato would not be like that. He's not sweet enough. <laughs> Black emo makeup. Oh my goodness. Give Plum some glasses. Oh, that's a good suggestion. Because he's a professor, isn't he? He's a, we said he's a bespectacled professor, didn't we? So that would be, that would be cool, guys. I'm gonna have to make, I'm gonna make some notes. So if you think of any good ideas, I just don't want to forget all these. Uh, so tomato, black blush, hair flop. <laughs> I'm gonna put in my makeup. I don't know if it's gonna how it might look a bit weird, but I can always tempt just to say. I don't, I want to at least give it a try. And hi, sick boy, how are you doing today? It's so good to see you. Um, plum glasses. But yeah, I'm, I'm tempted to also edit the palettes and brush with their special colour on them only. Just for a bit of extra details. Um, even if we decide to use these, maybe we could make them unique as well. But I don't know yet. We don't know. We'll see. Nobody seems to to be like grabbed by the the axe and I mean the hammer <laughs> and the sword. Nobody's like saying, yeah, that we'll use those. So I'm 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 not sure. I'm not sure yet. But I think that they look cool. They look cool. Um, because he's a smarty. Yeah, he's a smarty pants. All I can see in, in the world is Dragon Quest Builders 2. It's all I've done for the last week or so. Oh, are you addicted to that, sick boy? I haven't been played games in a long time. I was playing Gwent, the card game. But that's like literally all I've played in the last couple of weeks. Uh, okay, so. Did we say plum? Blueberry now. Um, oh, I did. I saved Blueberry. They're all saved. So all I've got to do now, before we could, before we do our test play, um, I've got to manually edit some Notepad files. It shouldn't take. It shouldn't 
take too long. I've got to just make sure I don't screw up. So I could show you guys what I'm doing right now because I'm literally opening some notepad files and editing them but I tend to be a bit wary about showing my display capture on stream just because um, it's always a bit of a risk accidentally like emails popping up on screen and private information so um, that's why I'm not showing. And I do know Windows is a butt face and it has it does have a few of my things that I'd rather keep private showing that I can't seem to delete. I'm back. I made some bagels. Give me some glacy and I want some bagels. I'm going to say, don't drink coffee. Don't drink more than one coffee in a single um, afternoon. Because if you do, you'll get drunk. I discovered that today because I feel drunk right now. Screenshot and cover. <laughs> Lemon with battle scar since he's a veteran vet sexy. That is a really cool idea. Battle scar. And I love I love these ideas because something like a battle scar isn't that hard to, to do. Like you know what I mean it's not like like you think, whoa, that that would be a really hard asset to do. It's literally just a, a line across the face. It's easy. So <laughs> you know it's all it's all cool perfect so who else there's just apple and blueberry with the other ones right but i think how i think blueberry really suits the smiley happy face i don't know if i like the angry face for blueberry i might ban him from having the mad face you have that exclusive for tomato and lemon but blueberry's a sweetheart he should be permanently happy who no. agrees? Do you agree? Coffee drunk. <laughs> Hi, Jurae, how are you doing? Blueberry's feeling blue, so they're depressed. Jurae, you are so wrong. Blueberry is the sweetest, happiest thing in the world. He is the opposite of depressed. <laughs> but it's true. People do link blue to sadness. But in this case, blue actually means innocence and empathy. It's uh, the... The, the nice blue blue meanings. Funnily enough, the depressed one is the, the lemon. He's the bitter one. <laughs> Happy berry. We're rebelling against blue meaning depression. We're doing a we're doing a rebellion. Blue means your computer crash rose. Oh no it does. That I don't write blueberry anymore then. I'm giving me bad memories. Blueberry's just trying to remind me that I used to get blue screen issues. Damn you, Blueberry. You're my least favourite now. My favourite one now is um, Apple. Because nobody likes Apple. Nobody has Apple as their favourite. Come on, let's give Apple some love. Let's get Apple on the screen for a bit. Maybe looking at Apple, you, can, you guys could think of some really cool ideas for him for how he could look but to be honest i think apple is the most generic out of them all isn't he he'd probably look like that forever bless him um right so what am i doing now um i've done the notepad file for the first three so i've got to just do it for the last two and once i've done that um, we'll be able to import them in RPG Maker and see how they look in battle. We'll see them. We'll see them like hopping about and being all cute and stuff. I mean, I don't. 
I mean, I says we'll do some skills today. I mean, this stream is called Skill Creation Stream, but we'll see how it goes. We might switch between skills and doing some assets for them, but because uh, I'm pretty tempted to start adding the scar and stuff, but that can always be done um, off stream. I don't know. I don't know what I'm in the mood to do. I'll, we'll see how where the stream takes us. Um, I'm scared of doing skills, I'll admit, because it's um it's the bit I'm not so good at. <laughs> I wanna I wanna look at Elite's skill database and steal all his formulas. So <laughs> so uh, that means I don't have to do it. I'm so cheeky. <laughs> right, um, Okay, so I'm having to rename all the image paths and stuff for these copy notepad files. Otherwise, they won't work properly in battle. But I think they're done. Right, so just blueberries left to go now. Blueberry should be nice and happy and cute. Nethel is in love with the blueberry, aren't you, Nethel? Nethel would cry and never come to my streams again if Blueberry died. I have Apple as my favourite, but I'm also a fan of Android. Oh no, I've just realised what I'm doing. I'm, I'm advertising Apple products with this game. People who like Android will never forgive me for this. Mm, hang on, what have I? Rez, I warned you, I told you Blueberry was the, the evil mastermind. You didn't believe me. Blueberry's the cutie pie who is going to stop everybody from killing the fruits. Because I think we've kind of... Have we all agreed that lemon and tomato are the evil ones? Apple and uh, plum are neutrals. And blueberries, pure good. Pure goodness. I'd say, who, who's the chaotic one? Tomato's chaotic evil. Lemon's more lawful evil, would you say? Because they're both evil, for sure. Um, I'm, I'm wondering about Plum, what he is. He's neutral something, but Apple's neutral too. Maybe, maybe Apple's true neutral. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe Apple's actually good. But nah, Blueberry's the good one. Blueberry's the good one. I, I like Android and forgive you, but now we need a robot boss. We will totally have a robot boss. I'm not going to lie. We, there's, there's a very high chance we'll end up in the future in Raindrop Chronicles. We have Elite's character and Juice's character, which have kind of indicated futuristic themes in a way. In a, car, in a little, in a subtle way, sort of. But it probably won't be until much later in the game if we do have it futuristic area we'll say don't want to limit us i feel we'll have a lot of different different types of settings for sure sponsored stream no i'm a i've become a sellout sexy what's happened sour apple you think he's a sour one hmm interesting I know them. He'd be too much like lemon, wouldn't he, if he was a sour one? But he isn't. Apple's definitely one it's, he's hard to put the finger on. He's got no personality. He's literally just a blank slate. Poor 
poor apple. So apple is like a false leader, like he leads, but he's easily swayed by lemon and tomato. Okay, but it'd be great if Rose was sponsored by apple. You think, Lysian, if that day ever comes, somebody put me down. Not, not that I hate, I, I have an Apple iPhone, you know, I'm not an Apple hater, but I just, I don't see me ever being somebody that does that, but yeah, um, but is Apple a false leader? Um, he, I'd say that Lemon and Tomato just have stronger personalities. Apple's very reluctant, he's like a reluctant leader, and because Lemon and tomato are much more pushy. He kind of gets, you know, but he's still the leader. He's still the leader because tomato and lemon just cannot be leaders. They're far too aggressive to be leaders. You gotta have a, a bit of a cool head to be a leader, haven't you? Tomato and lemon, they're too, they're too much. My goodness, I'm really, I'm really talk, thinking about these characters in huge detail. <laughs> I am a massive nerd. Right, so these are done, these notepad files. So I think we are okay now to do a battle test. Uh, so they are there. Uh, okay. So I need to make sure everything's set up properly. I'm, I'm, I don't know if Rose. Rose might be in the party. I think I do have a saved game with Rose in the party, which is cool. We can use that one, but we're probably not going to be properly equipped. I need to put a chest here with the weapons in so we can equip them. But right now, we don't matter about balancing. Kind of just want to see what they look like. But I've just realised I forgot to do something. So I've got to just rename these. Got to match them up with the right right file okay so that's exactly what it is right so basically what this is it's literally just it calls the dragon bone animation sprite which is this photoshop file that we've had open that's the dragon bone animation um sprite um and it's got all the it's got the size in as well um i think we can scale it to our liking we can have a hp meter width and i'm kind of tempted to see if there's a way in the ui people have can have the option to hide those because some people prefer to not have know that stuff but i've got to experiment to see um plum is true neutral whose loyalty is to blueberry yeah who's plum loyal to i know that lemon's loyal to blueberry lemon lemon is like blueberry's daddy because we decided yesterday that if the player hits blueberry lemon will say hey that's me and stop and attack i think that's really cute i suppose lemon's not as evil as we say if he protects blueberry Maybe tomato and lemon don't agree often, so Apple is the tie-breaking vote on what the group does. Blueberry's too young or innocent to come up with any plans, and Plum just doesn't care about such things. Yeah, that's that's a good that's a good way to see it for sure. Tomato and lemon clash. They're both aggress they're both aggressive and of similar natures, but um, I'd say maybe it's the age difference because Tomato's the edgy teen. And um, he's the bitter old fogey lemon, so you know, different generations can cause some problems sometimes. Different world views. <laughs> lemon, how you nonce don't hit me, baby. <laughs> yeah, and I don't know if that's going to be the dialogue we actually have. 
I mean, we could always do it so a different, the dialogue changes if it, if it happens more than once, just to make it more interesting maybe. I suppose maybe when we get to that stage, we can, we can put, we can have some suggestions maybe. See what peeps think. Um, okay, so back to the RPG maker. So at the moment, I think they're at their, oh, their scale. They're at 1.2 scale at the moment then. We can see how they look if they're a bit smaller because they might be a bit big like that. I don't know. I think they'd look cute small, but especially with five of them on the screen, it might look a bit too much if they're too big. But we'll see. We'll put it. We'll put them at their default size for now. Actually, okay. So I'm gonna kind of do a test pair just for pure curiosity. I'm gonna. I'm going to have it be muted though. Um, sometimes we'll do set, like play test plays with all the sounds on and that uh, if we want to do things properly. But when it's quick testing, it's generally easier to mute it, especially because we've got YouTube playlist in the background. Um, Sorry if your ears are blaring. I don't think they, it, that's too loud. I think I've got my volume quite low, so it should have been fine. Um, I'll just double check. Yeah, it's all good. People from generations not getting along. I'm shut, Rose. I know. I'm so sorry. I've I've revealed something so shocking. Chat. We're never gonna forget this day. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, we've only got him. We've only got Jesus on his own, so that means. I mean, we can always still do a test, but obviously, we're gonna have Rose in the real battle. Also, I haven't even gone on my test play. Damn it! Here we go. There we go. Um. Right, so I will have to give them their own custom icon as well. Because for some reason, the Dragon Bone animation icons don't show up on the turn the turn order. It does when it's a static sprite for some reason, but it also I don't. I'm not a fan of the uh, the long HP bars on on a group enemies. I think it could work on a one large box a longer bar but not so much on um the small ones but the thing with the hp bars it's it's going to be a subjective thing there's going to be players that don't like hp bars and there's going to be players that do so i'm tempted to have it a ui on and off switch for something like that if it's possible to do um so we, have I even set the skills up? I don't think I have on them, so we're not even going to see any animations. But yeah, when they get hit, they kind of do a weird blinking thing, which I think is pretty cool. He, like a flinch, I mean. Flinch is the right word. Um, okay, so let's get some skills set up for them so we can actually see the animations in action. Go away, Cortana. Okay. Literally just Jesus. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm silly calling my custom hero that. I feel like in my real game, I'll just have um, another rose, maybe. <laughs> We'll have two roses. Maybe Rosie and Rose. I agree with you. I'm not a fan when it's in a group. Yeah, it just looks visually jarring. Um, I'm gonna 
I'm going to give them a small, a small uh, one for now. So the toxic plants is a small one, 116 width. So we'll just give it them the same as that. But the battle UI at the moment, um, it's it's very much up for potent, like being altered over time throughout episode one's development obviously once we've released episode one i want to keep what the ui is as consistent as possible between episodes i'm not gonna once whatever it's like in episode one i want to keep that same look but until the release of episode one things might visually change a bit i know the the way the menu looks at the moment is very vanilla rpg maker and i might want to make it a bit more fancy than that um, and, and, and the battle system doesn't look terrible it works but there's a few little bits and bobs that I might want to alter and make a bit more a bit more snazzy but the main thing is that it works at the moment um, the, the coolness and the visualness can come in after once it mechanically works um jesus gonna knock you out <laughs> how are you doing anyway Jeray? i hope you've been well he will kill you hi box how are you doing today hope you're having a good day okay so now we need to get some skills working for them so that the problem was we didn't have skills so they were literally just standing there um where are those skills that i here they are Okay, so these are some template skills. Skill one is like the painting skill. Um, I'm going down too far here. Um, I'll call it painting. So I think skill two is also a painting animation skill, but it, it's different. I think it's a non-angry face. One of them has an angry face and one of them doesn't have an angry face. Um, skill three, I think that's the sword. And as we says, I don't know if we're gonna actually use the sword and hammer, but I want you guys to at least see what they look like visually. Um, animation wise. Okay, so. The actual action sequences might be a little bit rough around the edges at the moment, but we'll get we'll get an idea. So another test play. Also, this time we'll add Rose to the battle. We'll add her here. Could someone put your creation through external software to polish it further than this will allow? What do you mean, Box? I'm not sure what you're asking. I apologise. Okay, so. So we got one save slot that's Warrior and one that's Hunter. Um, and that's because I need to do test play on both, really, to see how both of Hunter and Warrior work mechanically, because because if you don't know our um custom hero is a choice whether he wants to be whether you want him to be a warrior or a hunter you get to decide it's only two classes i know it's not a lot but the other classes are saved up for other characters that will join the game there's going to be a lot of classes um there you go hey they were gone they were invisible for a split second that is not on um also we could probably make it look a little bit tidier, but hmm. are they going to use their skills? I don't think we, oops, I think I forgot to actually add the skills. I've just realised. Also, should we squash them up a bit closer, do you reckon? I feel that maybe we could do that. 
we don't need to fuss about visuals right now or how it looks but I like to I like to not try and get distracted by that at this stage and just get the uh, mechanics in place but it's very hard for me because I'm such a, a visual perfectionist um, okay so enemies yeah we've got to add the skills here I can't believe I forgot to do that how silly of me there's a lot of e little little bits and bobs to set up and get working so it's very easy to forget sometimes um, Rose, your first DLC of this game should be the Rose name pack. It renamed everyone to Rose. Well, that's what you, you guys can be modders then. Who knows? Someone might make a mod and really make things go crazy in the game. Okay. Um, hmm. Where we go? Sometimes there's a little bit of lag when I'm adding skills, and that's because I broke the database and added more skills. I'm not, eh? <laughs> it's um I have a reason for why I did that. And ho hopefully it's not going to be a problem, but I honestly feel that RPG Maker NV is not going to have the default number of skills isn't going to be enough. Um with the amount of classes we're going to have in the game also the enemies as well because enemies and players have to share the same skill database so i had to make more I had to make more and i'm working backwards as well in the database with the players so normally it wouldn't have been an issue i could have just made it larger at a later date if necessary but i'll show you so we've got all the enemy skills here and i'm doing the player skills from the bottom so that means i had to change the max um right now really otherwise it could have backfired on me at a later date like if they met in the middle and i didn't i ran out that would be bad uh right so hmm back to our enemies hey i didn't have the sword you think this should be closer? Yeah, something looked a bit odd for sure. I can be a bit of a first part with uh, layouts and things, and I like to make sure that how Rose and Jesus are, or the pipe members, it looks, it still looks nice, and it don't look stupid because it, it's it's sometimes difficult to get the right visual balance if you've got two versus five you know i mean that side of the screen will look more heavy but uh we can do it somehow there we go um okay so obviously we haven't set up their hp or anything like that yet um honestly that that comes after for me the hardest bit for me is getting the skills working <laughs> and once that's done once the skills are working that's when i start to think more about hp and the values and things how many party members do you think you want for the maximum probably four um party members i think that i think that's the default anyway in rpg maker but there are plugins that allow extra party members i generally think four is a good amount like in in most jrpgs that are turn-based they generally have four party members i know that some have three but i think a lot have four as well i like the number four as well it's a nice number okay let's have a say now it's gonna be wild when you see these sword and hammer animations i have no idea why it's glitchy like that but who cares <laughs> we'll fix that a later day um So obviously Blueberry and Plum aren't going to be melee like that. But that's basically the gist of what the melee 
animations look like with the paintbrush and it's got this weird fiery animation at the moment uh, well no it isn't actually i changed it to a different one for that that one was a fiery one um, but it, the animation that is used when they paint can be literally anything we want it to be. We can we can do a paint splodge or we can do anything we want. We can do an attack that is basically what their colour is or something like that. And I don't know if we're going to go with the hammer and sword thing, whether that makes it not realistic enough i maybe we should stick to the paint brushes for the weapons but i don't know i don't know how what you guys think of that whether it's too crazy or or what um but uh but yes so it would only be tomato and lemon and apple sometimes that are moving forward but blueberry and plum will stay rooted to the spot and um, I'll just do a cast thing, probably, and arranged animation for what their skills are. But yeah, that's kind of how they work. But they're they're pretty fancy. They, that's what dragon bone animations are. They're just a, a lot more animated than normal static ones. Static ones, they would literally just be an image on the screen that doesn't do anything. Just be a, a static unanimated image honestly the sword and hammer aren't that big yeah i mean we can always decide we will see uh something we could put a pot up for <laughs> maybe but we can get the skills implemented first and see how everything looks then once they're all doing their proper attacks and stuff um and things like this this little this little circular UI, the icons in here will be changed as well because these are the default ones, um, and I don't, I'm not a fan of them, so they will, they will be something that's definitely changed. Um, but if you keep them and focus on keeping the slime close when they swing, yeah, we'll, yeah, we'll definitely. Whatever decision we make, we'll, we'll pick the right one. I know, I know it. I have faith in in us. So let's look. Let's have a peek back at our uh, our dock. I'm actually gonna make these white just so they stand out a bit more. So this is that what's here is basically what we decided yesterday we we thought of an oh how that gonna work mechanically and what like their skill rotation will be and we tried our best to uh to make them as balanced as possible because i think what we wanted we don't want people to always go for certain ones first our fear was that people will hit blueberry first and want blueberry dead because it's a healer and people generally want to kill the healers first don't they in group battles but we, we kind of want to encourage people to not like leave the same one on the their last and the reason for that is because of our um our paintings um, if you was around when we did this poll, let me just get it up. So I took a screenshot of our uh, of our poll. Oh, it won't it won't let me uh, open it up bigger at the moment. But basically, the the paintings for phase two, um, it'll look different based on what fruit was last killed. So we don't always want, say, the apple being the last one on the field because then people will only ever see apples painted and um, we, we want to show people that there's a thing going on here. There's different, there's different paintings based on different fruits. So we haven't really discussed yet what phase two is going to be like and if how things will differ based on what painting is there but that is a, a conversation that we'll probably have in the near future for sure um 
because there's still a lot open with this part of the battle at the moment. But we'll definitely get this part decided. Um, so, hi, good afternoon, just in case you forgot. Serial Walker, you will make me. You'll turn into someone who thinks that they're it. That's actually not true. I think I'm probably very humble, in all honesty. How are you doing anyway, Serial? Okay, so when a character attacks from the fruits, they get marked by its colour. You get a decreased attack against that colour, encouraging the player to attack different fruits and not just pound one at a time. We could implement this. The Maybe there's an easier way to implement that, but the way I'm thinking of doing it could be states. Let's just add a few. Now, my states are a mess. These need sorting out and be made more organised because they, they're literally just random at the moment. There's no organisation here at all. But I imagine if the player attacks a certain fruit, they'll get marked by the colour and a decreased attack. Kind of makes sense for it to be a state, I suppose. Like, work in a similar way poison, blind or silence would. Um because they allow you to put an overlay, like a little visual thing above the character's head. And uh, we could definitely do that where they're marked with the colour. That's probably the way. Whether there's another way, there might be. There's always a few ways to do things, but this is the one that springs to my mind. It's very cold. It's cold here as well. I have an electric blanket because I'm so cold. I'm also a tired one. Today, Rose is tired. She's a sleepy one. She was up at 7am. Why am I talking in third person? <laughs> I'm weird. Okay. Apple has two attacks. Lemon is three. No, lemon is, lemon is two. The third one isn't a real skill. It's a passive in a way. It's a, it's a skill, but it's it's sort of a passive skill, I guess. Um, three. So they all are free then, apart from Apple. Apple is two. So let's. Uh, So now you've seen the animations for these, I can delete them because I, I just put them there to show. Okay, so we know what they are now. Can I spell that word? The <laughs> de Caravagians. Completely said it wrong, didn't I? The de Caravagians. Is that correct? <laughs> I'm so embarrassed in case I'm saying it completely wrong. Um, I kind of do want to label these Everbloom Forest enemies because I imagine when we get more and more dungeons and different enemy types, it's going to get super confusing if these aren't labelled. Um, but it's a, it would be too much of a pain in the ass at this point to move them down one. But I don't know. We'll see. Um, okay, so... Was Apple first? Yeah, he was. Labelling is super, super important. In my opinion. I'd cry without it. No, it was Lemon first. I don't know why I put three there, but I think I do so it just stands out more. So it's obviously not a skill. Um, electric blanket. I thought they were no longer legal. How hey, you got me? I'm a I'm a hardened criminal box. I've got those electric blankets. I, I need to be arrested. 
Okay, so... <laughs> um, right, we need... Another thing we need to think of is skill names. I've just realised that. We've thought of the skill mechanics, but we haven't thought of the names for them. That'll be fun. That'll be fun, guys. I know I won't be able to think of any... Not, not at the moment, not when I'm in this state. I'm a sleepy one. Um... Me too, couldn't sleep, got, got up way too early after staying up until 3am, oh yeah. See, me, I had to be up at 7am, but I'm so used to being a night owl that I just couldn't sleep. So, so I've probably got four hours sleep at the most. Which is pretty crazy that I'm, I'm here right now, talking. I should be in bed. <laughs> But don't grab a nap, I'm going to be in bed before night. And we have the UK election today and I was going to stay up the whole night for it. But my goodness, that's going to be a bit hard now. I'm not streaming tomorrow though, today my day off. So I can always sleep tomorrow. I've grasped you up the police from my way and so they should be. I deserve look, locking up for, for having these illegal items on me. This, this is the worst sin of mankind. Is it the big election? It is indeed. It is a big election. Uh, okay. So, Apple skills. I've got to keep reminding myself because I keep forgetting. A high crit attack and a party damage buff. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm literally going to just name the skill what the skill does. But we can think of some fancy names for them at some point. I wonder, I wonder yeah, I wonder how we should go about naming should we stick with the fruit theme maybe and think of something related to apples or should we do something painting related i guess it all depends what the skill does what it looks like visually when but i'm pretty sure we're gonna have paintbrushes as the weapons unless people want to decide that the sword and hammer can be cool but i don't know at this point it's totally one of those things that it could go so many ways with names. But it'd be cool to be to like stick to th the theme, like have have the names be related to either them being fruits or being painters. For sure. I think so anyway. Did you send them to the Belly Burn of England? That's where I'm from. If anybody ever comes in chat and asks where I'm from, that is my answer. The belly button of England. It sounds so fascinating, doesn't it? Everybody, but where's that? It's the place where all your dreams come true. That's where it is. High crit chance, Apple Aspire, all for dam the damage buff. Yeah, I'm, I'm up for ideas, guys. Like, if you've got names, I'm going to write them all down in my notepad file. And if we... If it comes down to us having a few ideas that are, we can always put them up down to a poll. It might be, I don't know if we'll have time to do a poll today, I guess it'll, we'll see. I mean, I'm not against putting polls up at the end of stream because a lot of people I've found do voting when I'm offline anyway. There's a lot of votes that happen when I'm not streaming anyway because um, the Discord's open 24 seven. So. It's not just when I'm live for voting. Status is how I would do it, but I'd have the status apply to the fruit with the icon being invisible. I'd have the status change the physical and magical damage taken to 50%, so anyone with the status takes half damage. Have it last for one turn, then the message feature to say as your attack makes contact the enemy splatters of paint. Get a blood in your body, the magic sapping your strength against this specific fruit, but maybe you have an easier way. Oh, well, I'm glad that you thought status is as well, Zexy, because that was my first thought, but I'm going to copy and paste you notes because i want to i want to i want to read those properly um so you actually think the icon should be invisible you don't think there should be an actual marker How, what did our notes say about that skill again they get marked by its color 
Something that I visually thought could work was literally splattered paint of that of its colour. It's quite interesting because splattered paint could also look like their guts, you know. Like imagine red paint tomorrow. That could also be the guts of the apple when it's been squished. Like visually though, it would be quite similar. <laughs> I'm being a bit violent now, talking about fruit guts. How dare I? Taking it too far now. Taking it way too far. <laughs> Is it possible to import character designs and backgrounds into this? Possible to import character... Do you mean your own custom ones? You can do, you can. If that's what you mean, then yes. Of course, I want to make sure I'm answering your question correctly. I don't want to give you false information. <laughs> Maybe the status would actually cover the player's colour. The player's colour, what do you mean by the player's colour, guys? And hi, Ben Hackman, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Kind of like how Inkling works. And that, oh, yeah, that's a good reference. I guess I'm going to have to think how statuses would visually look like if you're allowed to put them all over. Because like, maybe, I'm, I'm not sure. I think the status in RPG Makers only let you put a marker above the head. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can actually go a bit... It's a bit more flexible than that, maybe. I have to look into it because I haven't spent much time looking into the, the status visuals yet. But it's like, uh, I mean, if I've got Zex's idea correct, he, he thinks invisible, which I'm not against having an invisible um, status for this, but my only worry is that it could be frustrating if pe players forget which one they hit last. I don't know. It's kind of a reminder if, say, they hit the lemon and they've got their yellow splat, they'll remember that they hit lemon and to hit someone else next. I don't know. Also, if, I, if I'm completely off track and not but then, but I'm not understanding what you're saying, then forgive me. I, I suffer from brain mush quite a lot. <laughs> um... There could be a marker actually to indicate to the player which fruit is going to take less damage. I just don't know if you have to have a status that is applied to a player but only reduces their damage to one enemy. If you Oh, you don't know whether it's possible to do it, you mean, Zexo? Yeah, I, I'm not even sure how I'd go about it either, but I figured with a bit of, bit of uh, thinking I might work it out. Sometimes I go on the forums and ask as well. Um, you're from the USA. Hi, Ben. Uh, we have a few USA peeps that hang out here, don't we? I'm personally from the belly button of England, but uh, we have EU peeps. We have Americans. We have all sorts, don't we? We have everybody here. Everybody. Wait, who's from the USA? Yeah, who's from the USA here? I know Glacian is. Glacian's from the belly button of the USA, aren't you guys? <laughs> Everywhere's the belly button now. It's, um, it's my favourite word now, belly button. This guy, yeah, sick boys as well. But yes, uh, yeah, I'm thinking something visual could help. Just to prevent frustration, perhaps. Um, because it could be a pain to keep track of which one you last hit, maybe. Um, but I'm not sure how I'd go about implementing it exactly. But we can always re I can always return to this bit because it's a bit more complex, and we can work on implementing the other skills for now. And we can go back to that at a later date, or no, I can do it over the weekend or something. Um, okay, so apple high crit attack and party damage buff. Um. Oh, Rose Inception! No! Not Rose Inception again. Okay, so what I'm actually going to do is put that as the description. And I'm going to just shorten it for the name for now. So, But we do want some cool names, really. A 
eventually. We don't want to. We obviously don't want to call him crit attack and damage buff. Um, if anybody has suggestions, feel free to sign chat. I'll literally add anything that's said into my notepad file. I'll gather all suggestions and potentially we can always do a vote if we want to. And we don't have to do a Discord poll for quick things like this. We could do, always do a, a, tw a Twitch poll. Twitch polls exist too. And sometimes we've done them when we want to do really quick polls. In, we've done them in the past and they can, they can, they can be quite handy for quick decisions. Um, I'm from the middle but I, as, about as close to Canada as I can get. Oh, some Canada's lovely. Yeah, that's what I mean. I played your status a bit to make a shield spell. To me, it seems like if the status is applied to the player, you won't be able to have damage only be reduced against one fruit. But if you apply the status on one fruit, any icon would be on that fruit, not on the character. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna once again copy and paste what you've said, Zexin, because I, I feel like this is gonna be very helpful to me when I'm looking at, into doing this off stream. Can have a look at what he's saying and um but yes i definitely think that can it's we'll, we'll keep that because the hard skills of implementing i tend to want to not do on stream because it can be a bit too too intense um also why is discord up okay back to back to this um i am too bad from running oh welcome back elite Hope today isn't too much of a pain in the butt. It's doing treating you well. So is there a slime that removes statuses? Um, a fruit you mean? <laughs> they, they're still, I still call them slimes sometimes too. Um, let's, let's have a peek. There isn't a believe. Let's, because they're quite simple to be quite honest. We don't really have, none of these skills that we've got are like really, complex it's literally just attacks some buffs and heals some arranged as well we didn't want to get too over the top because the last thing we wanted was the battle to end up a chaotic mess we wanted to try and keep things simple but at the same we wanted to keep it simple and not too impossible either we might have to tweak things when we get to the balancing stage but Burp. I just burped. Burp. That's a burp. So is there a slime? Oh, I've already read that. Silly me. Okay. <laughs> um, not bad at all. Kitty's finally hunted down Big Mouse. It's been hot targeting. No. Those predators. Chased him into a hole under dishwater. Just went out to grab some roofs by him and trapped the bug. Oh my goodness. I, if that was me, I'd have cried. I don't like it when they, when cats kill other animals, but you know, it's in their nature to do that, isn't it? It cannot be avoided. Um, you're brave, Elite. I wouldn't have been able to do it. Okay, so, um, I'm just gonna, I think we, right now, we we'll just get all the skills written into RPG Maker, just to, just so we just just so I just don't have to keep glancing back at that document all the time. Um, so attack once every five normal attack. Um, But I do in general think that that skill about marking the player to discourage against them attacking the same fruit is, is a very good mechanic because otherwise people will do that. They'll just kill that one fruit. And um, But maybe it'll make it really hard to have that mechanic, you know. Maybe the battle will be impossible. <laughs> I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, but it, it could make it better. I think you guys seem to 
think that it, it, it's working well judging by what we did yesterday and i trust i trust you because you guys are, are more more mathematic than me you're better at working these things out um cats are predators yeah <laughs> we got them to hunt this mouse oh my gosh you encouraged it elite you monster <laughs> This time I had a mouse, I caught it as really, I just gave them a couple of months to get adjusted to the garage before letting them in the house. We chased one mouse out, but this one refuses to leave, so we all know, drastic measures. <laughs> I'm just happy you didn't use glue traps, those are horrible. What are glue traps? That don't sound nice. It can get back from outside, from in the walls, so it won't starve or nothing. <laughs> oh no. I'm just a softie that doesn't like any animal to die, even like spiders. I don't like them dying either. Um. Okay. Uh, tomatoes now. Basic attack, heavy attack. Hey, go away, Ellie. Don't be revealing my secrets. <laughs> I don't think mean, there's any secrets here. It's just Steam. <laughs> All it says is RPG Maker MV. Guides. <laughs> wow. You've seen how many hours I've been on it. That's a big secret. It won't even go off. It's like stuck there. Shift tab, that's what I'm pressing. Oi, get off. Get off. <laughs> it's not going off. Only six that, yeah, RPG Maker's true niche, Glacian. It's a true niche product. <laughs> They're terrible, no. I get stuck in glue dye slightly worse than poison because it lasts longer and you can hear them scream. That's horrible. No, I'm going to cry. Oh my God. Why isn't this getting off, guys? I'm actually very concerned now. I don't know what's happening. Oh, it's gone. It's gone now. We're good. <laughs> We're back to normal. Okay. Shift tab, yeah, I pressed it about a bazillion times, my goodness me. It depends on how we balance the fight. I like the idea, but we won't know until a play test. And if it doesn't end up working with this fight, we can just not implement it here and save it for a future fight. That's perfect, I think, isn't it? Because I guess it, we don't want our hard work to go to waste. And it would be a shame if, like, I spent a lot of time getting that mechanic to work. Only for us to test it and be like, ah, nah, it's too hard with that and it can remove in it and and but it, like we said we can always use it for a future battle and to uh, make use of it then if necessary you were raised in the country yeah i'm just too i'm too much of a softy way too soft cannot cannot kill a fly i'd i'd be i'd just not get ever get over it even if i killed an insect can't. <laughs> I have cats so I won't use poison. Hey, what was what was the heavy attack? So these are kind of what we got at the moment. Obviously, we don't have to like re like religiously stick with these. If we we if anybody thinks actually this could be cool and we can still alter them for now but the, these work as a good a good plan i think um heavy attack See, the tomato is going to be the easy, easy to implement, and um, to be honest, lemon will be quite straightforward as well. I don't, I can't see that being hard. I'm, I'm pretty much used to doing 
these since do doing these attacks i've uh, got a little bit more experience with doing uh, some skills but any anything that's very very unusual or creative i might have a hard time implementing Try not to kill if I don't have to. Oh, you got the catch just for that. Interesting. Because we've got my sister's cats at the moment, and we don't. We like stop from killing things. <laughs> we we're bad. We encourage our cats to to not be predators. We we're, we're forcing them to go against their nature. How dare we? Um. Mandra get a damage magic attack that debuffs target. Oh yeah. We said that we hadn't got a debuff, so we thought maybe Plum could have it. That was an idea just to do something a bit different. We don't know what debuff though. So that's still still a decision that we can make. But yeah, we need some cool names for these, but I'm kind of still wouldn't thinking theme. I want to. I want to definitely stick to a fruity theme or a painting theme for these names. But who knows? Maybe I'll get inspired over the weekend and come up with some ideas. But obviously, guys, you're welcome to come up with ideas too. Do you think you'll have changed charged attack? Any charged attacks? Describe a charged attack, guys. You know, I want to make sure I do not misunderstand what you mean. Blueberries healing spells could have anti toxin heals. Yeah, blueberries healing spells are going to be lethal. For sure. But yeah, obviously, I, I that I think it's cool to stick with themes and uh it's cool like we have a flower. Where is he? We have a flower up here and here and it has a skill called aromatherapy. And you know what's so weird about that? Um, Pokemon Sword and Shield came out a couple of weeks after and one of their Pokemon also have a skill called Aromatherapy. I was like, it copied, it copied me <laughs> because that was just a bizarre coincidence. But maybe Aromatherapy is not that unique as a name. I felt it was at the time. I was quite proud. I forgot what Pokemon had that skill now. Like very strong attacks that need to charge for a turn or need a turn to recharge. Oh, like cooldowns. Or oh, so along that line. I think that's what, like, sort of called anything. I do know there is a plugin. There's a, a lot of, like, different types of battle plugins that allow you to do things mechanically that's a bit unique. And uh, I know that cooldowns is one of them. So if that's. So we can do that, but they're, they're probably ideal more for player skills, thinking of cooldowns more. Because with enemies, we don't actually visually see what's happening behind the scenes as much. We can just, like, set things up. It's like, say, turn one, they do this. Turn three, they do that. Or every two turns or every three turns, they do that. Um... But we can also do it so it's quite RNG based as well. Um, I know, I believe we said that with the blueberry, things are going to be a little bit more structured. Like every, they'll do a certain healing spell on a certain turn. Whereas I think we said that tomato and plum are going to be a bit more um, random with their attacks. Uh, 
fruit peel. But it's, it's all, you know, this is literally just um, a test. Things could get switched around once we do a apply test. And if we think, ah, no, that we need to change things up a bit there. That's too OP. Then we'll just switch things up a bit. It's not a problem at all. Aromatherapy has been around a bit in Pokemon. Oh, was it? It was around before. Damn it. That was me thinking I came up with a unique name. <laughs> I sort of like the idea of painting terms, but I know basically know nothing about art, so just be random art glossary terms. You do know about art, Zexy. You were the one that came up with that name, the Dicaravagians. <laughs> I've said that so wrong. Honestly, I'm embarrassed every time I sign it. I need to be taught. Um... But yeah, anything that's painting or fruits would be cool, um, for sure. My, my brain is just empty of ideas in terms of names today, though. Maybe I'm, I'll have a think about it over the over the weekend. And obviously, if you guys get any ideas it's yourself when we're not live, you can, you're always welcome to suggest in the Discord as well. Like, if you use the strong attack, your next turn would be skipped. I'm sure there's a, there'll be a way to do that. I can't think out of the top of my head now how we do that, but I'm sure there's a way. I doubt that RPG Maker would be that restrictive. Um, it's generally, I mean, I know Yanfly has got so many plugins for battles, and I've got all those plugins, so we can use them all. Rose, you ready for this plot twist? I can't spell it either and I've never even tried to say it out loud. Yeah, you haven't, but you need to still teach me how to say it sexy because how will I do my YouTube videos when I say, how will I say the name? How about, <laughs> I'm going to make a fool of myself. I'm going to just have to read, I'm going to type it in a YouTube and there's got to be a documentary on it. I'll, I'll learn it that way. Learn sexy, learn. <laughs> Aromatherapy was introduced in Ruby and Sapphire with the Pokemon Rose. Ro Rose? Rosella. She's got my name. What a coincidence. Okay. So now we've we've actually got all the skills in. So at least we've done that. Um, wow. Just the Everbloom Forest enemies alone have taken up over 50 skills in the database. So this is why I'm very glad I, I extended the database. Um, right, so... Yeah, we just got to get it to work now, but damn, I've got melted brain. I can't even figure out how to do a basic attack right now. This is what happens when you've been up for a bazillion hours with three hours sleep. I'm not making any sense. Okay, so let's just look at one of our standard attacks and steal it. Okay. That is a formula we're using for attacks by the way. It's a very simple formula. It's different to the uh, default one. It's literally as simple as it comes. And I personally like that. It's probably quite limiting, but it's what you see is what you get with that formula. It's very straightforward. So I think I'm, we're gonna stick with that one. Um, Because as soon as the formulas get too complicated, that's where I just, I end up going crazy. Also, this headband is, uh, needs, it needs to be stretched, it's child size. I do have quite a small head though, so I can have child size headband, but... <laughs> For a charge attack, workaround would be have a message pop up saying, 
um, Apple focusing mind preparing for massive attack and have him skip his turn then the next turn have him use the massive attack that he charged. You can control when attacks are used so set the attack trigger off turn 4. Awesome! That's very helpful. I feel like if we're going to have something like that we'll, we'll decide after a test play right. We'll see how it works normal first and if we feel things are a bit OP then we can always have it so that they miss a turn and we do that charged attack thing. We'll only know when we do it, I guess. But I appreciate all the help with uh, ideas for mechanics and stuff because my brain, my brain is uh, lacking in that department. With experience, I might get better. You always have to learn with practice. I feel like it'd be a good boss attack. Oh, you think maybe we should do it anyway? Who would who would you who would have it then? Because Apple. At the moment, Apple is gonna alternate between his uh his hot his attack and his buff. I don't know how the buff's gonna work, whether it's gonna be a stacker or whether it's gonna be just a buff that like goes off after two turns so he has to redo it but that that is very pretty basic whether whether we'll change that i don't know because maybe having him maybe that's too op i don't know it could be so we never know we might have to do that but i feel if anyone's going to be op it's going to be tomato Oh, I actually don't think Apple's IP at all. I don't know. I've actually thought, I think Apple's the weakest, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm very wrong. Heavy attack, you don't have to do it in this boss battle. Yeah, we, we can always have it in the future boss too. It's very tempting to have as many things as possible in this one, with it being our first one, but it's also uh, good to keep it simple too. It's going to be opportunities for lots of bosses. You think Lemon's defence buff might be IP? Let's have a look at that again. Yeah, especially it's a, as it's a stacker. But this is what a player test is going to be for. Whoever's OP, we're going to have to make them a bit weak. And if anyone's underpowered, we'll have to make them stronger. Because we want to try our hardest to make sure all five fruits are very equal in terms of how fearsome they are otherwise people would just people will just be inclined to leave the weak one as the last one on them in the battle and that that one's painting i'll always pop up and defeats the purpose of having different paintings for each fruit if it's the same one all the time um don't get me wrong, I don't think you should have it for this fight. If you want all fruit to be equal threat so that we don't always kill the same one first and a charge attack, to my mind, paints a target on his back. Yeah, so maybe it won't work because of that reason. Yeah, okay. So I feel like what we've got here as a plan will be a good starting point, but it's probably likely that we will have to make a few alterations because it's probably true lemon lemon's very strong with that but he only attacks once every five turns it's not like he's a always doing it but i feel like his counter attack is quite is quite a uh, op but i like that mechanic i like that he protects the blueberry it's really cool um we could all this is very much we can always alter this it's like we can we can literally just make it a small increase of defence to stop it being too OP if that's the case. Um, we currently have it as a stacker. But you know, we don't it doesn't have to be like mega, mega strong. We can like it can be just a tiny amount each time if we find it's too strong. Um, I'm not sure what percentage we're gonna do it as a thraff first attempt sometimes it's just we just pick a random one and see how that works and change it based on how we see it and when it's in battle um in this case i tried to kill lemon and blueberry first for strategy reasons yeah 
well blueberry lemon would have to go before blueberry right but not necessarily some people might think that blueberry has little hp enough to still hurt it before and kill it before killing lemon i guess it depends what your style of play is whether you'll just ignore lemon's counter attacks and just kill the blueberry anyway whereas some people might think nah we'll kill the lemon before we kill the blueberry so he doesn't counter attack it we kind of want to allow people to do it both ways you know david thank you for the hosting as well master emerald thank you for your raid as well how are you guys doing today how was your stream master emerald how did it go let's welcome david and master emerald into the stream i hope you're having a lovely thursday guys i'm a sleepy rose reindeer today i was up very early i went shopping can you believe it I went out the house how is it going? How was how is your dialogue and conversation branches going, Master Emerald? Hi Van, welcome back. Mog Champ. Oh my god, there needs to be a Mog Champ emo. <laughs> Hi, stream was good aside from my sore throat coming back. No. It's really hard streaming if you got a sore throat as well. It's like the worst illness you can have as a streamer. Um Gladysin says maybe make the defense magic defense buff only affect one fruit blueberry gets priority oh that's a good idea too what i'm gonna do guys Ian, is i'm gonna put here if to op make it only affect one fruit e.g blueberry so if you guys have any like thoughts i'm gonna just met put some notes in brackets like that just so i can um when we do do the balancing if we feel things are wrong it's easy to just refer to what you guys have suggested um because yeah uh i still think apple's weak but i think i'm wrong because at the end of the day that damage buff is pretty strong and i think it's good to have it strong because if it wasn't strong apple would be too weak and everybody would leave Apple as the last one alive because it's weak. But people might still do that because they'd probably feel that he owned Apple. Apple's advantage is where the more people that are in battle, right? The more fruits in battle, sorry. Apple alone is pretty useless because that's all he's, that's what his buff does. It, it helps. The more that are there, the stronger it is. If that makes sense. I feel like I'm rambling, but I feel like that is definitely... Apple is definitely stronger than more fruits that are there. Pop down to the shops, find anything nice. I got a few bits and bobs. Forgot what I got now. <laughs> completely forgot what i got i lost my memory <laughs> but yeah it was it was okay it was good to get out for once but i definitely need a nap does crit chance cut through defense buffs um it might do i'm still very i'm still uh experimenting with rpg maker and how 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 things are but it, it, crit is always going to be more than a normal attack, I suppose. But I still think Apple's crit attack will be weaker than Tomato's attacks. Because uh, uh, Tomato's definitely the one that has that the strength. So, um... Really, the only reason we've made this a crit attack is because Apple specialises in crits. We have some notes here and Apple. He's good at agility look and crit, whereas Tomato for attacks. So uh, Tomato's probably the strongest. As well as Plum, of course. I'd say they're I think we agreed they're kind of equal, but Plum's the magical one. Um then Apple is probably the next strongest after them two. And Lemon would be after them. Lemon's more the defender than the attacker, although he does do a, the counter attack to protect Blueberry and an attack once every five turns. 
And Blueberry, he's just a little weakling, bless him. Well, he's not. His heels are OP. They're dangerous. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think, uh, I think we, I think the next task will be to get all these working, tested out. And then we'll really have a good idea then what needs changing. Um, okay. And I don't, I don't think it's going to be too hard for me to do. I've got braid mush at the moment, so I'm, I'm not going to be the greatest now at doing skills when I'm so sleepy, but um we can try we can try at least we've still got an hour of stream left unless we do something else but i feel other than implementing the skills we can think of names we can do the assets that we said because we had some ideas for how to make make them look oh my tummy just made a really loud noise i hope you didn't hear that Tomato, black blush, hair flop, emo makeup, plum glasses, and lemon battle scar. They're the th features we said they can have. But, uh, uh, but yeah. I don't know about apple and blueberry, though. They'll probably look the same. But I'm still up for any suggestions. Um, yeah, I wouldn't dwell too long on this just because it can be fixed during playtest. Yeah. We will the mainly just need to get them working because they're they're hopeless at the moment we don't even have them set up um but we can they're not hard so we'll be we'll be good we can get them done um also remember that you're planning to give apple agility and look look means that he's more likely to get a crit which also boosts his treat and i believe illegitimacy also gives him an evasion chance meaning it'll be harder to hit in the first place oh yeah so that makes apple a little bit stronger then if he if he if if we're inclined to miss him when we hit him because that would suck admit it it's annoying if you try and attack something and then it misses but that could also encourage people to leave him as the last one as well apple i think i feel at this point if everybody's gonna leave apple as the last one alive am i right guys would do you think judging by what we planned here you'd leave apple alive till last because everything the apple is doing to me makes him be the will make him be the perfect one to leave last which i don't want we don't want it always being apple Well, she's on break, could make a mini RPG with the community. <laughs> that way we could all hang out at the same time and place. Kill Mage and DPS first. Kill Apple second after Blueberry. Oh, right, Elite. So you wouldn't leave Apple. Who would you? Who would be the one that you would all leave last then? I need, I want to know. I'm really curious. Because my order would probably be... Probably lemon, blueberry, tomato, plum, and apple. But maybe my order's terrible. <laughs> maybe that isn't smart. But I feel like getting rid of lemon and blue... Like, the blueberry's the key one to get rid of. He's the healer. Um, but lemon needs to go first. And then the strong attackers. Leaving apple. The, all, the generic all-rounder there till last. Um... Oh, you leave lemon there till last diver. That's interesting too. So even though he counterattacks when killing Blueberry, you'd still be inclined to not kill him. Hmm. Intriguing. Until she gets back with her milk. <laughs> I haven't got any milk today. The coffee was enough for me. I think we're having a cheese and wine night tonight. I think we are. It's quite fancy, right? She's taking a two week break after the end of next week. I was just thinking, oh, covering her time so I miss you all. Yeah, we need somebody to, to keep the community active while I'm gone. 
because who's going to still be around over the Christmas period? Some of you might be, but some of you might be be off being busy doing holiday things. I'll still be saying hi in the Discord and stuff. I won't just disappear, I promise. <laughs> Maybe plum second, depending on the strength of his magic. All oh, right. But I'm really, really excited to get these skills implemented now because re I really want to do some battle testing so we can really, really see if they're equal to each other. So I'm just, I need to get my brain back because I eat the way my brain is at the moment. I can't even implement a normal attack. It's terrible. Um, I'm going to copy Vicious Chomp and pop it down here <laughs> I have a mushy brain again so should we just do things in order just for this keeping things organized maybe we should crit attack add state normal attack um, mm, I don't think we've done a crit attack yet have we So we gotta make sure we get everything right. Normal attack, so I've put this there just so I can keep referring to it. Otherwise I'll I'll forget something and miss something out. Critical hits, oh yes. Are we right? I'm not very knowledgeable with crits in RPG Maker. I haven't done it yet, so you guys might need to teach me some stuff. And Dad, Dad, thank you so much for the host. How are you doing? I appreciate you. Are you having a good day, Dad? I really think who a player kills last isn't going to matter much in the end. People are going to attack differently based on what types of characters they play. Yeah, I think the main thing is I'm just I want everybody to know that the painting or on phase two will always be different based on who's last there so as long as it's random for everybody's play style then that's perfect if everybody my worst fear would be if everybody has the same last character and never realizes that the painting will be different but i'm probably overthinking things um i think it's going to be pretty obvious we we'll, phase two will make it pretty obvious that the painting that's there is based on the last one that was left so people if they're the completionist type, they'll be intrigued enough to want to know what the others are anyway. Um, I think I'll cover you a slot during that time. Just need to figure out a good premise for a game that can be dev in 24 hours. Awesome. Well, good luck, Elite. I hope it all goes well. And yeah, guys, make sure you follow Elite then, because he's going to be the one who's, who's streaming in my place. On his own channel, of course. <laughs> Um, I would miss everyone too much over the week. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the two weeks. Yeah. It'll fly by. It will fly by. All this depends on the magnitude of everything, but assuming that, that leaving Lemon won't murder me, I would leave the tanky one for last. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's an interesting thing, Dave. And I'm actually glad to hear that somebody would leave Lemon to last. Because I thought he'd be one of the ones that people would kill first. So that's a good that's cool. That's super cool. Um, okay. Okay, so for now I'm not going to put any animations with any of these attacks or any action sequences because that's all going to be the extra stuff that we do afterwards once we know everything's working well. Um, I feel like I've missed something now here. I feel like I've missed something out. I don't think I have, but I always feel like I might. Ah, yes, we, we do have to... We have to decide what we're going to give them stat-wise, which obviously all depends on what our heroes have, of course. 
thank you very much for ek for the follow i appreciate that welcome to the stream hope you're having a wonderful day yeah and we keep we keep everything very low i mean the toxic plan only has 15 hp that is like really low some um, a lot of rpgs probably start with a lot more than that um so yeah and then so toxic plan 15 everything at the moment i think once rose joined the party things generally start getting a bit more hp because we've got two people stump and father maple aren't balanced yet so ignore them um, and really, I don't think the Hero and Rise will significantly get much strong. Well, they won't get like tons stronger compared to what they were like at the start of the Everbloom Forest. Um, really, I don't think. Because we've done the skill tree and um, the first four skills. Probably set it up so they only get enough CP to learn the first few, perhaps. Um, and there'll be stat increases on the skill tree as well I think we're going to do it that way a bit like Final Fantasy X Sphere Grid rather than automatically getting the stats through experience it's not 100% decided yet but I thought it'd be pretty, it could be cool to do it that way but it's not 100% decided for sure um, but the skill tree we do have does allow the stat increases in it so we kind of thought it could be cool to just do everything that way you are overthinking once you get to the playtest stage that's when balancing would occur besides you worry too much about this you've several more bosses to go we've got more than several do you guys know how <laughs> ambitious this is going to be we got more than several bosses in Road Rock Horse. but I don't like to discuss the future because it's just, it's nice to focus on the now because when people start talking about the final boss or, you know, it's it's far away. It's very far away. Um, we have <laughs> 519 more bosses to go. It's the law, yeah. In fact, like thinking about the end scares me because it's like people want me to not stream anymore when you think about the end because this is what I do on Twitch. So you gotta hope it lasts as long as possible, you know? You forgot the 356 optional boxes. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not, some people might think maybe I'm slow paced at this, but I like putting a lot of thought into everything and, um, it's it, i find it fun like just discussing how things can work and really getting into the detail rather than just doing something quickly that's just what i'm like and if that means it takes forever to do it then so be it and in a way that's why it's it's good that we're not doing everything entirely from scratch good job we've got assets and artists that are doing things for us so we, we would be here a hundred years doing this for sure um you just start a new game more experience yeah i don't know if that'll happen though like it's if i was to do a get a new game i might not necessarily do it as on stream on twitch but what raindrop chronicles is and what raindrop chronicles stands for it's perfect for twitch with it being a community game but who knows i would i might do again another game in the future that was is just my game not necessarily a community game but that would be um when raindrop chronicles is all done and dusted which it's a long time away yet till that um when do we finish the game the stream isn't over it just means we're going to develop a new game plus seeing another bloodborne playthrough would be great yeah um i will probably never stream video games again um it's just not what i'm gonna be doing anymore so it's just yeah either raindrop chronicles or nothing at all guys so let's this is a never-ending game that's what it's that's what the usp is <laughs> okay so what are we gonna do then right damage buff is that i'm kind of looking at our previous skills and just copy and pasting because i'm sure we've got things that are similar 
Um, so I will get the skilled inverse and probably think of HP and stuff after. But I definitely don't think they should have as much as 100. Definitely not that. It's probably a bit OP when there's five of them there. This is the game that never ends. It is. It's a never ending game. Because I, I would say with complete certainty, once this is over, I'm retired from Twitch. <laughs> so, you know, that's why it's got a, it's never ending. Because I don't want to retire from Twitch ever. I'm going to stream forever. So, so this is a never ending game. <laughs> yeah, the never ending story but game mode. I think Lemon should have very high HP. We could have a, a we could plan our ideas for the HP and stuff now. Just as a rough estimate. If something like the toxic plant is 15 HP. Using that as a guide, what would they have? Blueberry, would they have the least or would Plum have the least? So Rose is retiring in 2069. Maybe. Maybe. I'm not putting a date on it or anything. I think the fact that this is episodic gives us like some, takes the pressure off in terms of thinking of end dates. We just make episodes as we go along and see how it all goes, I guess. I feel like Plum would have the least being a glass cannon with Blueberry being close. Yeah, so Plum the least powerful. I think if Blueberry was too too weak, that people would just kill Blueberry, you know, even though Lemon protects him if he's too weak. Um, I'm going to say 15, but, you know, this will probably get increased because he, he's a boss. He might need more than the toxic plant, you know. But at the same time, I don't know. It's hard. It's hard to estimate. Maybe 20, actually. Uh, 25. Lemon would have the most. What about tomato? Who would be second most? Apple, maybe? I feel like maybe apple could be second most. Actually, we'll give blueberry 30. Plum with a torch, that's OP. Hi, Sora, how you doing? Good to see you. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, that is this is total guesswork at the moment. It could they could be completely off the mark these figures, but at least now we got a sort of order here. Who agrees? Plum least, then blueberry. Then tomato, then apple, and lemon with the most. I was like thinking apple and tomato, maybe tomato second most, but I feel like tomato would be way too OP if tomato had, had was the next most after lemon. That's what I reckon. Yeah, a little grease apple second most. He's the leader, so yeah, it makes sense he'd have second most. Now we'd figure out what the average damage the hero and Rose can do per turn. The user that tried to figure out the HP. You need each fruit to be able to live for the same number of rounds if you still want all to be as likely to die first. Yeah, that's true. And we do have a very simple formula. We have a very basic formula here, which is attack. So... Basically, let's have a look. I need to remind myself what Rose and the hero attack with here. I can't actually remember where in the data. Okay, here. Um, okay, so it is four, but the do the will have a weapon equipped. I actually put Rose as 12 because she didn't have a weapon equipped. I think it's four without weapon and 12 with a weapon um, at this stage, whether that will be changed. Um we, we might, but for now it's four without twelve. So yeah, it'd be twelve because they'll both have a weapon equipped. 
Um, so, yeah, we need to take that into consideration as well with the HP. So, with that very basically for basic formula, from what I'm aware, it's as simple as that attack being minus off the HP, I think. If it was... That's why I like that formula, because it's easy. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's how it works. So if, if Rose and the Hero attack with 12, and obviously I think maybe maybe we should... I don't know. Rose should attack with a bit less than a Warrior, probably. But we can mess about with that sort of stuff as well. But on average, it'll be about that 12. It's very low, yeah. It's not a lot. Very weak. But there's room to get stronger then, I guess. Tomato will be second most because he's front line. That's true as well. I think if Tomato was second most, he could be a bit unbalanced. and We'll see how it goes. We can always alter it if we feel that that should be the case. I definitely feel... Apple or it should either be apple or tomato though. Um, right, figure out your damages first, then you calculate uh, hits to KO. Yeah. So, so if it's say twelve, then also we need to consider that people might go back to Lake Fall and go to the weapon shop and buy an upgraded weapon because I think that Lake Fall might sell. An upgrade, an upgrade to what they have equipped on them when they're at the start of the game. So it might be more than 12, it might be 15 or 16 maybe. Which means Plum with 20 could be killed in two hits. Blueberry, well yeah, we, we might need to make them a bit stronger if that's the case. But some people might not have gone back and got the weapon upgrade, you know. If you're smart, you will, though. You'll go to the shop and get a, we a, a weapon upgrade. Hello, Rose. Hi, Dav. How's it going? So good to see you. How, how is your week going? Look, it's Mog. Would Rose do bleeding damage? Rose is a vampire. She... Let's have a peek at Rose's skills. Let's remind ourselves when she learns bleed. We've got the... Okay. Drain. So she's got drain. She's got rush. She's got transaction. And she's got corrosion. I don't think she's got bleed specifically yet. I don't think she's unlocked that. But she's got something called corrosion. Which damages opponents over time. So that works in a similar way. It's a dot. Like bleed is. Um... So, so yeah, I think considering what could be unlocked is interesting too, but chances are, if people haven't been grinding, they wouldn't have unlocked all four abilities at this stage. Um, probably set it up so that they can unlock two, perhaps. But at this stage, they to unlock all four, they would have had to have grinded a bit. Um, so, yeah. Twelve attack with a weapon, Lemon is ten defence. That means he'll take two damage per hit. He has 60 HP, that's 30 hits. To go. Oh yeah, ignore the defence bit, guys, because we haven't done that yet. I feel like we have to uh, delete that so we don't mislead people. Um, where were we? Can we delete that? It keeps going to 10 automatically. But yeah, we haven't thought of the stats yet for, for what their other things are going to be yet. Um, so yeah. He has 60 HP, that's 30 hits ago. That is definitely way too much. <laughs> way too much lemon. OP lemon. So, um, 
Okay, let me think here. You say lemon has got 10 defense, okay. So, I need to remind myself how defense works here because I've got mushy brain syndrome and need this headband is squishing my brain, so that's not helping either. Um, okay, and I'm a tired rose. I'm a very tired one. Um, this is why I need to detest plays because <laughs> when I look at numbers, I am blank. But I'm probably going to get this all set up over the weekend anyway, folks, because I've got three days off now before Monday's stream. We've still got four streams next week before I go on hauls. And um, what I'm going to do is get all the skills implemented try and get a, an, a good idea of what we should have for their stats and i think yeah we should do some battle testing next week um and we can decide together what's working and what isn't and what needs adjusting and um so yeah that could be a good idea for monday's stream what do you guys think because it's probably, although we could have done that today, it's probably going to be a bit of a, it's going to be a bit impossible to get all the skills up and running that that fast. Especially me, with my, with my tiredness. My sleepiness. Seems good for Monday, yeah. I was, I was, I was very tempted to do some Carol the Barrel stuff, because I've missed Carol the Barrel. And I'm really excited about doing those assets because we got some really cool ideas for for the barrel companions we've got so i wanted to do that but i'm feeling like we should just put that to the side for now and get this done and dusted this battle because it's such a, a key thing and um so get phase one sorted if we can do that on monday we really get everything working perfectly we'll do loads of battle tests we'll be like Okay, no, that needs changing, change up to this, etc. And then maybe Tuesday, if we, if we all goes well, if it all get works, and we can start thinking of phase two and and all the extra things like dialogue, cutscenes that happen in the battle after. But that's if we get this done. And I was, I mean, there was the idea of getting a a play test so you guys could actually play it yourself but if we did it on stream together that could work too it's only because it's only because of time reasons if i was getting a play test out i suppose it wouldn't take too long but you'd have a bit of a messy game because it's a mess okay so anything we need to like get straight before i end stream that's the main thing. Is there anything we forgot to talk about? I feel like it's... I feel like we've... We've got the main things discussed. But I'm pro I am probably going to end stream a little bit earlier today just because of how tired I am. I don't know if you guys can tell. <laughs> maybe I'm, I'm hiding it well, maybe I'm not. But um, I'm definitely going to be having a nap when, I, when, I, when I've had my dindins. Um, you seem a bit tired, <laughs> yeah, I do. Right, guys, so thank you for voting now on the poll because we do, if you was here, you might have saw what won. Maybe you didn't see what won. But the one that won was the badass ladies. So that's the one we're going with. But it was a very close one. There was uh, there was two that were super close. So they, they had seven votes, but the badass ladies had eight votes. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there for now, guys. I know there's a there's a bit to do, but I'm probably gonna do it when I'm a bit more awake and can concentrate a bit more. Bad, badass babes yeah <laughs> thank you for streaming today yeah so i will see you all in three days time and of course if anybody has anything interesting to say that 
that might have, that we haven't discussed today feel free to pop it in the discord guys um and i'll see you monday and we'll, we'll definitely do some some proper battle testing then goal for monday will be to get all the that first part of the battle sorted really I'm making a two-week break schedule now. Yay! Thank you, Dave. Thank you very much. I'm gonna head straight off. Normally, I do, I do the raid, but I'm just too tired. Just wanna say. <laughs> so I am gonna go straight offline today. I appreciate all. Well, thank you for being amazing. Have have the best weekend. Take care, guys. See you on Monday.